Hi guys, Hyperlato here, and this is the third episode of World, Weapons in Real Life. A series where I talk about the real life counterparts to some of the guns I have been using in games I'm playing. In this episode, I'm going to cover the Barrett M95, known as the M95 Sniper in Bad Company 2. First, let's get the statistics out of the way. The M95 weighs 10.7 kilos or 23.5 pounds. The length of the rifle is 1,143 millimeters or 45 inches. The barrel length is 736 millimeters or 29 inches. It is a bolt action single shot rifle that fires 50 caliber BMG rounds. They're also known as 12. 7 by 99 millimeter NATO cartridges. The M95 uses 5 round detachable box magazines. The rate of fire is not unknown per se, but I couldn't find a specific number, so I didn't list it as anything, I just wrote unknown. The muzzle velocity is 838 meters per second or 2,750 feet per second. The effective range is 1,500 meters to 1,800 meters or 4,921 to 5,006 feet. The Barrett Model 95 entered manufacturing in 1995, hence the name M95, and was an upgraded version of the Barrett Model 90 from 1990. The M95 had some small improvements over its predecessor, which made the rifle more durable and more comfortable to use. The improvements was a chrome-plated barrel chamber, which makes for easier cartridge extraction and better corrosion resistance. The pistol handle was moved forward 25 millimeters for better magazine clearance, making the rifle easier to handle and more comfortable to fire. The bolt handle was altered to a more downward direction and bent to the rear, making the rifle more streamlined. The M95 is the cousin of the M82A1, rifle also made by the Barrett Fire Firearms Company. The two rifles are very similar. The main difference being the bullpup design of the M95, compared to the traditional design of the M82A1. The M95 is the bolt action alternative for those who either needs or wants a single shot rifle instead of the semi-automatic fire mode of the M82A1. The bugs magazine used on the M95 is very similar to the one on the M82A1 but differs in that it's a little shallower, effectively making the two magazines non-interchangeable. The M95 is also some 30 centimeters shorter and lighter than the M82A1, making the rifle approximately 30% less expensive. The M95 isn't made for shooting from the shoulder and is used in combination with a standard bipod mounted on the front of the lower housing. There is also an optional rear monopod, which makes for increased accuracy and easier reloading. Everything in relation to the M95 is easy to, to detach. The whole rifle can in fact be dismantled for cleaning in under 60 seconds without the use of any tools. The rifle also features a M1913 rail on the top of the upper housing making it easy to attach a wide variety of different attachments. This mainly consists of different optical scopes, since the M95 doesn't feature an iron sight. The most commonly used scope is x10 telescopic scope. The 50 caliber BMG cartridges used by the M95 was originally made for the Browning machine gun, designed in the early 1910s and used during World War I and World War II. Partly because of the power of the gun and partly because of the bullet size, being shot by an M95 will cause limbs to tear off the body. In fact, the sheer slipstream of the bullet is enough to tear the skin and make bleeding wounds. 
The M95 is in actuality classified as an anti-material rifle, which means that it's made for use against buildings and lightly armored vehicles. This makes the rifle usable against infantry hiding behind or inside cover. The M95 is also used for counter-sniping operations and explosive ordnance disposal. The M95 won the US Army competition for the XM107 50 caliber sniper rifle and a quantity was bought for further research and development. However, the M82A1 was ultimately chosen for use in active service for now. According to the Barrett Firearms, the M95 is used in active service in military and law enforcement applications in at least 15 countries. Well, that's it for now guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode of World. I hope to see you next time. Snackis.